did you know? He followed one of the guys. Look, it's probably nothing, but I read about those attacks on security guards. I just thought I should tell right, someone. thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Quest urgent backup at Birkenhead Point. Possible sighting of a suspect wanted in connection with a security guard robbery. Detectives are attending. Please support. Suspect may be armed. OK. Oh, drop the money. Drop it. OK. Put the gun. All right. Come here. Money, but where are the guns? Where are the guns? What guns? You guys made a mistake. That's all. I should be suing you for some kind of harassment or something. Yeah, yeah, right. And when our divers go down, the fingerprints on the guns won't be yours, will they, sunshine? Cuff them. Well, it's been the sixth robbery on security guards in a month. Now, it's the same MO, same description of the bloke who did the jobs. <laughs> it wasn't me. That's funny, because he had a tattoo just like that one. You took the money and the guns. Why don't you save us some time, tell us what you've done with the guns? I haven't got any guns. What'd you do, flog them down the crooks? Listen, Oliver, we got six robberies and we've got five guns and we've got $40,000, eh? Things aren't looking too good for you. Why don't you just cooperate with us? Yeah, I might be able to help you out. missing already. What are you doing? You flogged them off, Paul? Oh. Yeah, a couple of guys up the cross. What's this? Designer suits? <laughs> With an interest in fashion, eh? They're all different sizes now, aren't they? Same for a special occasion. Yeah. It's a nice fit, but um, 
Hey, it's a ton. What have you done with it? Yeah, so jealous. This. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Kevlar. It's having bulletproofed. Yeah, I can't remember who I sold the guns to. They were just a couple of blokes on the street. I've never seen them before. But you got them back anyway. The suits. I'll tell you about the suits. And I don't go inside, eh? Don't do deals, Ollie. Best we can offer is uh, put in a good word with the DPP. Well, that's, that's got to mean something, doesn't it? Ollie, we've got stolen guns, bulletproof suits, and you were caught doing today's stick-up. Mate, you're stuffed. Now, come on, do yourself a favour. Or we'll put you away for ten years. I got a... <clears throat> I got this phone call, see, from this uh, bloke in Queensland. Call himself Jack. Uh, Jack, Jack. The name, Ollie. D just all he ever said was Jack. He'd heard I... He'd heard I put a kit together for these other blokes. Guns and, and cars and that. And he wanted suits. He wanted four, four bulletproof suits. Said if I uh, got one to fit me, they'd cut me in on it if I wanted. He didn't ask for guns or cars? No, no, he didn't. What was the job? Yeah, I don't know. What, you agreed to this bloke, Jack, without knowing who he is or what the job was? <laughs> well, ten grand. And that was just up front, you know, he... You're bullshit, Nolly. Wait, ten grand only knows, you don't ask any questions, you know. How'd he contact you? On the phone. At your house? On the mobile. <laughs> well, where's your mobile? In the drink. Keep this up, Woody, and you're going to have my job. Bye-bye. Good work, Woody. Don't think this will be much good anymore. I don't know. I could use that as a paperweight. OK. Oliver Unwin. Served nine months in Long Bay three years ago. He's your average crim, really, mm -hmm. breaking into theft, assault. OK, so why would a complete stranger choose Ollie to do a job for him, eh? Well, he's either lying or it has something to do with his background before yeah. he went to jail. Stock, oh, stock car, car driver. driver. That's it. Used to do a bit of driving to Jolly. Yeah. Oh, any good? I was Australian champion, 81, 82. Stock oh, cars. Right, right. So maybe uh, Jack wants you to be a driver. Well, like I told you before, I don't know what he wants me well, for. Well, look, you're a mechanic, you're good with cars, you're an ex-car thief, you're used to dangerous driving. I mean, what other skills have you got? I don't make a bad cheesecake. Oh, don't be a smart ass. Listen, when is Jack going to contact you again? He's coming today. He said the star of four. How many times has he rung you? Twice. Were well, they long conversations? Well, we weren't talking about the weather, you know. All right, <clears throat> who did most of the talking? Well, he did. It's the first time he ringed me, he said, you know, was you interested? And I said, yeah, you know. And then he said, uh, tell me what to do, you know. That was it. Second time he ringed me, he said, you know, you ready? I said, yeah, I'm ready when you are. Stand up, Ollie. Stand up, give me a look at you. Come on. What do you think? No, don't even think about it. 
Oh, we're about the same age, you know, same size. I mean, we do look a bit alike. And anyway, we've only got to four o'clock this afternoon if I'm going to take I his just place. I'd like to put my hand up right now and say this is not on. It's too dangerous. Yeah, but you're assuming that Jack knows a bit about Ollie. I mean, his physical details. And tell me, where are we going to find an undercover cop to match at such short yeah, notice? I, I mean, not... these guys are arriving in a what matter of hours. What we are assuming is that Ollie's telling the truth. I mean, what if Jack does know Ollie, or, or more than Ollie's telling us? OK, but we've still got three crooks heading the town. they got bulletproof suits, so we've got a reasonable size heist. I mean, if we don't catch him on this one, who's to say they don't get another Ollie and pull the same job? We can't assist with the Commission of Offence. We cannot hand over those bulletproof suits. Right. That means when you tell Jack that, you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, but all right, then, then we replace the bulletproofing with fiberglass so they don't know the difference. I mean, if we're right, they're going to be more interested in Ollie's driving abilities than does, anything. Does Jack know where Ollie lives? No, they've only had contact by Fine, mobile and we can set you up in the safe house and we can oh, get it Jack. wired. Oh, you're not Helen, serious. I want you to liaise with surveillance. OK, we'll need a house nearby to set up as a listing post, get the suits done and back to the warehouse. It's tight. Anything else you need, Frank? Yeah, mobile phone with Ollie's number. OK, we can take a SIM card out of Ollie's phone, whack it in a new one. Look, what if Ollie was going to be used as a getaway driver? I mean, Frank, you can hardly steer. I can drive? I don't think so. Three brothers. Names? <laughs> Me and Teddy and Andy. Teddy's a plumber in Melbourne and Andy. <sighs> Last time I heard Andy was thumbing around Australia. So is there any chance Andy could have bumped into Jack in Queensland and told him what you looked like? Oh, chance in a million. It's a chance we've got to take. So where'd you go to school? Campbelltown. Tough school? <sighs> Had to run or fight, so I jumped in the ring. Local police boys, I was good. I was just going to turn pro. <laughs> The suits are taking a bit of time to organise, so I want you to store them as long as possible, Frank. Right. This one, real is it? I heard a bit. Oh, big suck. All right, so what's your real name? Oliver Wendell Unwin, yeah. age 42, if you can believe that. I went to school in Campbelltown until I was kicked out at the age of 15. I've got two brothers, Ted and Jimmy. No, that's your real brother, Frank. Ted and Andy, as if Jack's going to know all his family tree. OK, now, for God's sake, look after that Unwin's car. Treat it like it was mine. Oh, I said look after it. The listening device is being installed now, so we'll be able to hear everything that's said in the house from the listening post. We'll also have a direct line through to here, as well as being able to contact surveillance and vice versa. Make you feel any better? No, not really. I think Frank's just enjoying this a little too much. No, it's the adrenaline. Come on, he's old enough to know better, don't you reckon? Well, that's part of the problem. Rachel, there comes a time when some of us look in the mirror and we wonder where it's all gone. You want to turn back the clock, get some of that old energy oh, back? Oh, I know what he needs to get. He needs to get a grip. G'day. stock car driver lives. Very subtle. No, it's good. Oh, yeah? Guys, you've got two hours to get that listening device installed. We'll be ready. Harvey Avenue, Putney. You gotta go, they'll be here in ten minutes. The device isn't in yet. Doesn't matter, you gotta go. Okay, thanks. Jack's made contact two hours early. The listening device isn't ready yet. 
Rightio, two hours early, or maybe Ollie's lying to us. Which makes me think, what else is he lying to us about? Ollie's going to have to get them out of the house so we can finish the job. Well, let's hope Jack doesn't want to see the suits because they're still not ready. Well, I've told Holloway that. He's just going to have to stall. Ah, oh, this is working out so well, so well. That isn't helping. I'm getting onto those suits. I've arrived under surveillance. Jack. Ollie. Ignore Les, he's got no manners. This is Alex. Alex. How you going? So, you drive all the way from Queensland? Yeah, great drive. You ever done it, Ollie? Uh, in the past, but I prefer to fly these days. Nice set of wheels you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I get you a beer? You got the suits? Uh, they're in a safe place, but you know, I thought we might, um... Get to know each other a bit first. I want to see him. Yeah, well, I haven't got my money yet. $10,000, you said, up front. Yeah, and you'll get it as soon as you show us the suits. Yeah. Well, we'll have a beer. Then we'll go see the suits. They're at the warehouse. There's plenty of time. We'll go now. You mind the fort. Well, you can go if you like, but I'm having a beer. Suit yourself. They're on the move. Surveillance has got them under observation, but unfortunately one of them has remained behind, so we can't install the listening devices. What have you got there on the licence plate? Yeah, Ellen? I'm putting it through now. Just hope the suits got there in time. Let's see if they fit. <laughs> yeah. Well, these are the sizes you gave me. Let's try them on, eh, Jack? Huh? Yeah. And you said if I could get one that fitted me? <laughs> Wait till Cheryl sees me in this. <laughs> you know, to keep her hands off me. Huh? What do you think? Done well, Ollie. Feel the weight. You know, I want more than a pat on the back. Let's see if they work first, huh? Hmm? Which side do you want it, right or left? What are you hmm? doing? What are you stupid? You <laughs> want to ruin a good soup, put a hole in it? <laughs> <laughs> so you're in. In what? You find out later. Meanwhile, we stay at your joint. Pig's ass, you stay at my joint. Not if you don't tell me what the job is. Ed, good time. Nobody knows until I'm ready to tell them. Blokes are amateurs. Listen, you know what's good for you? Go back to your place and keep quiet. One big happy family, eh? Come on, let's go. Take the suits with us. Their vehicle was reported missing two days ago in Brisbane, but really, I think we're going to have to let it ride. Good idea. Never know whose side they're on. What about the photos? Oh, yeah, well, I sent them off to Brisbane, but really, it's going to be a lot simpler if we get their fingerprints or at least get that listening device in. OK. Frank! Frank, what the hell's going on? Oh, no, well, um... No, see, I've got guests, mate. Yeah, yeah, sort of family. Well, um... Yeah, look, maybe we'll have the beer next week, eh? Yeah? Yeah, right, bye. Yeah, bye. Thought I'd keep in here with you. Oh, well, if it's all the same with you, I'll take the couch. See, I haven't shared a room with anyone since I was inside, and I don't plan on doing it again. Oh, don't worry, you'll be safe. You can turn your back on me any time. Mate, I don't ever intend turning my back on you. Champion two years running. Oh, you know, you can be lucky. <laughs> Trophies always give me something to skite about, you know? Is this all you got to eat? Yeah, well, I didn't know I was having guests, did I? I mean, we can eat out. Why don't we get home delivery? Anything good around here? Nah, it all sucks. Get a good meal up the pub, though. Pub it is, then, eh? Yeah? Suits me. Bring us back something, Les. One of us needs to keep an eye on things. Hate for one of those suits to go missing. Oh, nah, they'll be right. Never had a break in yet. Always the first time. Nah, not around here. Oh, come on, mate. Gotta get out. And you should mind your own business. 
ไหมIt's a dickhead. What's he doing? Mate, his father's a mate of mine and he, got, he died. And, uh, I look after him and I give him a bit of leeway, that's all. Yeah, too much, I'd say. Who well, asked you? All right. How long is it going to take to get a wallet? It's just a bit of fun, Jack, eh? Now! Alex. You too, mate. Ben. Why? I want to have a private. Yeah, sit down. You're like a good man in a crisis, Ollie. Well, that's what you hired me for, Jack. Fasten your feet, too. Oh, yeah, you know, I used to box a bit. Yeah, they heard that. Good head in your shoulders. Then again, somebody's supposed to kill two and got away with it. Got to have something up top, eh? It's not exactly common knowledge, Jack. How'd you get rid of the bodies? Ah, oh, now, straight secret. You gonna tell me about this job? You gonna keep me scratching? Yeah, well, I reckon I you one, eh? We're going to hit the Western Bank of Ramsgate. Why that bank? One trade secret at a time, my friend. One at a time. Listen, it's the Western Bank Ramsgate. 
No, don't know the time or the day. But I'd say they're going to have to do a recce first. What have you been talking about, if that's all you got? Well, I'm not exactly in the interview room. Oh, no, it was just a joke. No. Hey, listen. What is Ollie's killed two men? What? See what you can do about that? Oh, no, we will. We will. Don't worry about that. Gotta go. Bye. Uh, the prints on the beer glass came up as uh, Jack Curtis, nine months in Bogo Road, two years ago for assault. Uh, some feud over building materials. But the interesting thing is his cellmate was a guy called Bernie Griffiths, who was Ollie's cellmate in Long Bay previously. So he's the link between Jack and Ollie? Yeah, that's it. Cellmates. So we can tick that one off. Why the bank in Ramsgate? It's not a major bank, is it? I know, I know. It's um, nothing like they've done previously. It doesn't hold much. It's got good security. Yeah. Uh... What do you make of Ollie being a natural-born killer? Well, that's what I'm just about to find out. It's hard to believe. Do you know a guy called Bernie Griffiths? Yeah, I shared a cell with him. Yeah, he shared a cell with Jack in Queensland. Do you think that's how he knows you? I don't know. Look, Jack's under the impression that you killed a couple of guys. <laughs> Look, that was just talk. Hey, Bernie, he's a mad dog. I had to share a cell with him, you know. I told him I wasted a couple of heavies just to get a bit of respect. Right, you always bragging about things you don't do, are you, Ollie? No, 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 sometimes I uh, brag about things I have done. Listen, mate, what else are you lying to us about? Because we've got a guy shacked up with a couple of your mates who's relying on this information. I lied about the cheesecake. <laughs> Too. Time to test your driving skills, Ollie. Who's Alice? They're leaving the house, all of them. Get the listening device in. So where are we headed? Just around so you can handle it, thing. What are you doing, Oliver? <laughs> Try like an old woman. I don't want to get pinched for speeding. <laughs> can handle anything on four wheels, mate. Yeah, well, I'm not impressed. My kid can do better than this. The listening device is in. Oh, great. And uh, Frank's taken the dogs for a wild ride. Oh, no, it must be the boy in him. Okay. So what do we think, boys? Did I pass the test? We should have met you in your heyday. As far as I'm concerned, Jack, my heyday's just beginning. You're a real hot shot, huh? You've got a problem, haven't you? <laughs> Settles down here, too. One big happy family, that's what matters in this world. Family ties make a rich life. Oh, yeah? Well, you're married, are you? Yeah. Married the best girl in the world. As good now as I was when I first met her. And I have two wonderful kids. Oh, yeah? They'll probably finish up doctors and lawyers at that bright. Best part is I love the old man. Not bad for an Italy. So we're gonna settle down with this fiance of yours and have a couple of kids. Oh, you know, uh, <clears throat> everything in its own time. When are we gonna meet her? You can call me old fashioned, but. Sheila's are there, business is here. I don't mix it. Never the twain shall mix. Another drink, boys? Hey, I, I, I wanted to keep her out of this. See, she doesn't even know Look, I spoke to Jack. Just give us her name. Give us her name, Ollie, or we can't help you. Do you understand that? 
Raylene. Right, Raylene. Raylene Holden. Ford. Holden. Holden or Ford? Do you live with her? Well, she's my fiance, isn't she? But she's cool. Look, I, I rang her and told her I'd be going away for a few days. I mean, she's not going to come looking for me if that if that's what. How does Jack worried. know about her? If you didn't tell him. I don't know. What else does he know about you that you haven't told us? <laughs> well, how should I know? Look, look, I'm playing it straight with you guys. If if he knows anything more about me, he, he hasn't. All right, all right, all right, just shut up, okay? Now tell me about Raylene. What about her? Her real last name. Holden. Star. I told you, Holden. I'm serious. Could be a client. I thought I said keep a close shop till this thing was over. Well, you know what some people are like. Can't take no for an answer. Hello, Ollie. It's me, Raylene. Your fiancé, remember? Oh, jeez, Raylene. Hello. No, no, I thought you'd give me up, sweetheart. Yeah, well, I tell you, I'm uh, five foot six. I've got blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm into motorbikes. I used to hang out with the uh, Angels Bike Club before we met. I ride a Yamaha 650. We met about three years ago. Remember? Yeah, well, look, yeah. Hey, hey, me too. No, no, it's just for, just for a couple of days, you know. Like I said. Yep. Yeah, I will, darling. All right, bye. <laughs> Raylene's getting a bit toey, you know, wants to know how long I'll be out of circulation. I heard you two are pretty close. Oh, well, you could say that. What you know about this? Nothing. Just that, you know, I've got something on over the next few days. Get her over here now. Hey? I don't want some shield sniffing around out there, knowing about us. Oh, no, no, Raylene's not like that. Get her here now. And she can meet the other girls. I'll be here this afternoon. Detective Sergeant Bradshaw. G'day, Rachel Goldstein. Louise. Come on up. Ooh, gee, you're quick. Why wasn't an experienced undercover operative used? Well, we only had a couple of hours to arrange it. And Holloway's done an undercover supervisor's course. All the courses in the world don't prepare you for the real thing. It's probably why he's got so little information out of them. Oh, no, no, he's a good operator. He's, he's an amateur. The only reason they haven't cottoned on to him yet is because they're probably amateurs themselves. Is Holloway the sort of bloke that can take the lead from a woman? Well, he's been my partner for three years. That's not what I asked. Well, it depends on the woman. So, you need to talk to Oliver Unwin about his fiancée. Ask a man about his fiancée and this is what you get. Physical description. It's more important to find out what Holloway's told them about her. Look, I don't think he said much at all. I think he's been trying to avoid the subject. Good. Good, that means I can make up my own Raylene and hope your guy's got enough nows to go along with her. These are the guys who've been keeping you away from me, huh? <laughs> On and off for four years, can you believe it? It's afraid of commitment, that's what his trouble is. Give me a break. Took you a year to even wear the yeah, ring. because I only plan on getting married once. None of this, like, you know, let's see if it works out and then a quick divorce crap. If I'm in this for life, I want to make sure I've got the right fella. <laughs> what do you reckon, Joe? Oh, well, I knew I had the right bloke the first time I laid eyes on him. I'm starving. I'm going to go and see what's holding up the cook. If you keep listening to Jack, he might learn something. <laughs> uh. 
Kiss a drink with your love. Liz! You got a problem? It's a bit like amateur night, I mean, what is this? Wives, girlfriends? Liz! I didn't come here for a party, I come here to do a job, do it right. Enjoy yourself, we're right in the day. Relax, will ya? <laughs> this idiot could get us all killed. All quiet on the western front? Yeah, they've been in the backyard most of the afternoon. There's nothing on tape that we don't already know. Gin, which isn't much. How did Louise go? Yeah, well, she could fool me. Unlucky, Tiger. Yeah, but you believe Elvis is dead. Pull the line again. Right, 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 conference time. Girls, get in the kitchen, please. Cheryl, Cheryl. Cheryl, come on. Liz, Liz. Right, uh, tomorrow we're doing the final recce on the western bank of Bramsgate. So, then we'll sit down, we'll talk strategies. Ollie's agreed to do the uh, escape route. I told him before you told us. I told him what he needs to know. Yeah, what else you tell him? Nothing. Will you shut up, Les? Don't you tell me to shut up! Les, I'm trying to watch this. That's right. Nothing bothers you, does it, Alex? What bothers me? It's no big deal. It is to me! You <laughs> Les. Put the whole street down on us. We got the police out here. John, get the girls out of here. Come on. This is none of our business. Keep an eye out for cops. Whole neighborhood heard that. Sorry, Jack. Pain in the ass, Liz. I've had enough. Here, you're the expert. Kill him. That's going a bit far, Jack, eh? Maybe if he just laid off the piss. He's no good to us. You know that as well as I do, Ollie. I think he's learned his lesson, mate. You are supposed to be a killer around here. Maybe it's all bullshit. I'll do it myself. Oh, Jack, oh, hey, whoa, 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 come on. No more shooting. Come on. All right, all right. Well, I can't just let him go. Shooting his mouth off. You get us all put away, you rat! Oh, sorry, man, that hurt. That did this, man. Well, Les, I got her. You see, orders are orders. Please don't. You know what, Les? This might just be your lucky night. You know, you might get out of this one lightly. Just let me out of here. I went to Jack a sweet. No, oh, no, Les. I got a much better offer than that. Oh, by the way, mate, I tell you I was a copper. What about your powers of persuasion, Frank? Look, if I hadn't said I'd do it, Jack would have. There's no other way, Jeff. We had a reasonable brief on this bloke yet? Well, all we can do is throw him in for conspiracy and hope like hell he doesn't get bail. The brief can only get better. Well, it's the only option we've got. Yeah. yeah. There you go, neat and quick. One bullet. Where's Raylene? The girls are going to bed. So what are you told Cheryl? Where's he going to get more guns? And what are we going to do when he doesn't come back? I'll deal with it. How? My way. We've got it all on tape, Les. Bank at Ramsgate. The suits. Mm. Everything, mate. You're completely stupid, Liz. He was going to kill you, for God's sake. Could be your way of getting him back. Bullshit to me all you like. All I know is I'm in a better position than your mate to hold the way. You always sleep fully clothed? Well, I thought it was appropriate. Shotgun blast, two jobs ago. That's how I got my nickname. Your nickname? Last guy I worked with calls me Sprinkler. Calls you Sprinkler? Yeah, I still see a bit of him. You know what it's like when you work closely with someone? Oh, yeah. What about you and, uh... Oh, Rachel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we... We get on. Good friends. <laughs> so how did you... get the wound? I was working undercover on a drug operation. Something went wrong with backup at the last minute and I got caught between a rock and a hard place. I had just enough time to put a door between the gun and me or I wouldn't be here now. 
Didn't put you off this kind of work, though. No. Adrenaline, I guess. Kind of get hooked on it. You want to watch out, Frank. It can be very addictive. We're supposed to be lovers. You can take your clothes off. 